Welcome back to Cars and Coffee. This is kind of like have a cup of Joe with Joe, but cooler because it's about cars. And today, I'm talking about the 1966 Ford Thunderbird that got 1965 fenders on it and a 64 hood and grill. So she's kind of a rat rod, but she looks pretty damn good. She's a solid car. Her interior is okay, but it's going to need redone a bit. A couple holes in the floorboard that's neat patch. And I pretty much bought all the parts this car needs for the engine and everything. And I even bought performance parts for it. Like, I, I got brake lockouts. I got exhaust cutouts. I, I got a uh, level loading kit so I can raise the lower the back end. I got bigger tires and fatter tires on the back and smaller ones on the front, the same size rim. The headliner in the car is definitely going to need a new one. But other than that, like everything's here. The transmission might need a transmission seal, but she runs and moves. I had her driving when I first got her. And I started taking her apart to put the headers on because I got uh, brand new headers and exhaust and cut out cutouts to put on the exhaust. I was going to lift the engine out and put it on, but it's coming to the time where I think it's time to let her go to someone that can really show her more love and effort because I just don't have the time for this project. Boy, would I love to have her. I always wanted to drive her down the road looking cool. But she might just be one of the ones that's one of the ones that get away, you know. I, I don't know. With my time schedule, with what I'm doing with the house, what I'm doing with Fat Betty, what I'm doing with the motorcycle, I just ain't got the time for this. And she, she's all there. Like, like I said, I got all kind of brand new parts, brand new brake master cylinder, and everything for it. Brand new uh, fuel pump tank. You know what I mean? Like, you just get on, uh, get on uh, Facebook and look at the pictures of the stuff I bought. It's ridiculous. I, I got more money into the parts than I did buying the car, but. I tell you what, if someone offers me the right price, I'm going to have to let her go. So I'm probably going to end up listing her here sometime this week. And I'm probably going to list her for like $2,500. i am willing to haggle a little bit. And like if you don't want the brake walkouts, the level loading kit, and... A bunch of other stupid stuff that I bought for it, like party tricks, as I call it. Then I, I could do a little bit cheaper, but with the exhaust cutouts, the headers, the brake lockouts, and stuff, like I'm gonna need to stay pretty close to the 25. I don't know. We'll see. If someone offers me the right price, she's gone. It sucks. I really like the car, but with the way I like to travel and I'm nomadic, it just doesn't make sense to keep something so large around. Like the motorcycle, I got Fat Betty, that Yamaha B Star 650 Classic. That's easy to store. I can park that in a shed and it's hidden. I can park it in a basement and it's gone. This one, I don't want her parked in a field. I really want to see her go to a good home and someone make a really cool rat rod out of her. I don't know, like, if you're trying to make her back to brand new, like, 100%, like, factory, I don't, I don't know, man. You're going to have a hard time doing that. This, this, this car is pretty solid, but she, 
she's old, you know, she's worn out. I got all, that's another thing, like, I got, like, the whole front end for underneath, I bought brand new that needs to put on. But, just being such an old car, and this front clip being mismatched, you'd have to buy new fenders, new grill piece, and a new hood to be a 66. I like these older scoops on the hood. So I think that's a cooler hood than the 66 hood anyway. Um, what else? Like, I did have her fired up. I'll put a little clip of that video. For a closer look at the engine and stuff, everything. Hold on a sec. Like I said, she, she's a pretty big engine. It's a 390 big block. It's supposed to have a Holly carburetor on it, but this one got um, an Edinburgh carburetor. Pretty nice. I mean, it's in pretty good shape. It got Holly uh, valve pan covers on it. But like I said, the front needs put back on like this uh power steering pump needs put back on the alternator needs put back on the fan needs put back on the radiator needs put back on and that's pretty much it like oh and the water pump reserve but like that's pretty much it and then she's good to go she's good to ride she you know like she'll fire right up but I don't have the time for it. I I got brand new plugs, wires, cap. Like like I said, I pretty much bought all the pieces I needed for this car. I wish I had more time, but the seasons here in Pennsylvania go so quick and I've been so busy. And I would like to go home sometime soon to see my wife and daughter. So I can't keep it around if I'm going to be nomadic. That's the bottom line. If I want to travel around, she got to go. It's heartbreaking, but it is what it is. So if anyone's interested, reach out. I live near Pittsburgh, PA. Closer to Butler. It's just amazing. I, I had a lot of dreams for this car, but... I'll find something better in the future, something cooler. I usually get pretty lucky and stumble across some good deals. Like my brother's car is a way cooler, nicer car. It sits right next to this one. It's, uh, I believe, an 86 or an 84 Camaro. But this is my brother's car. I think this one you know, be worth keeping around since it's his and he lives in America where he can take care of it. But I did have a lot of fun doing what I did to the car because underneath, the undercoating was bad. So I, from behind the driver and passenger seat back to the trunk, I scraped everything off and re-undercoated it. The trunk, I totally recoated. It was all rusty, flaky, weak in water, not no more. That trunk's all totally resealed. I even got the vent tubes and everything for it. I know if she would just be put back together, she'd be one mean car. I wish I could throw her in a shipping container and take her to Thailand with me, but they don't allow these old cars to be imported very much. Like, And, it, and if they do, it's going to cost you. And for the price to import this, I may as well just buy a brand new one. Or buy one from over there that's classic. But, I don't know, I figure I wouldn't mind being home for Christmas. I've only ever spent a couple Christmases home with my wife and daughter because I'm always over here working. So, like, out of the last 16 years, I probably only had six Christmases with them because I'm always here. Which, you know, I like having Christmas with my family. 
but they don't really celebrate Christmas over there. It's more about the New Year's. So, like, that's another reason why. So, like, I'd be cool to, even if I don't come before Christmas, right after Christmas, but before the New Year, I think that'd be cool. Man, it is a beautiful day out. I was going to work on the engine a bit, but I don't know, something just come across me and it did just make a video letting everyone know that she's up for grabs if the price is right. One of my favorite shows growing up, The Price is Right. Let's play. People make me some offers and come grab her and show her some love and get this rat rod going. Because I'm telling you, she, she's going to be a fun one if you just take all the parts I got for her and put her together. It would probably take, like if you know what you're doing, it would probably take about a month or two. Me, I just don't have a month or two to dedicate to it. i got to finish the house. And I got that murder cycle that my buddy Doug gave me. And that I'm a little more sentimental to than I am this car. Like, this car is awesome. I bought it from my old boss, Jeff Smith, from Freeport Beverage. Best boss I ever had, best place I ever worked. And I really wanted to fix it up. But, you know, life's life, man. At least I saved it, and I help make her better so she'll last longer to where she can find her forever home. That's the way I'm looking at it. I was like an adoption agency holding on to her until she can go to her forever home. I'm glad I saved her, but she's here. She's beautiful. She needs a bit of love, but... I don't see why you couldn't just have some fun with her, whoever is the lucky person that gets this beautiful ride. The dashboard's all cracked up, but like I said, dude, this is a 66, man. And she's been sitting around, uh, I bet you seven years before, eight years before I got her, she's been sitting around. So. She could look a lot worse, I'll tell you that. <laughs> she, looks, she looks pretty good compared to some of the ones I've seen. I think that's going to be about it for today. Thank you for joining. Have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. Have a great day, everybody. Like, subscribe, leave a comment. Hit the notification button if you can. If you can't or don't want to, it's all good. Thank you for your views. I appreciate the help. Bye.